Hey, how's it going? Just getting my quick steps in here. Running up to the gym. Beautiful July morning. It's July 3rd. Probably post on the 4th or the 5th. No, I think I'll probably post this right, right on the 3rd or the 4th. But it's gonna, I'm gonna go over my moves for Tuesday, July 5th. Something I talked about last video was just how the economy is going to bounce back. But honestly, <laughs> I think we're going to, we're in for some very, 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 uh, bloody recession-ish vibes with the market. Because nobody cares about the economy. No one cares about the market, I'm realizing. Everyone cares about social justice, which is great. But the stock market, the economy, profits are all taking a backseat. So it's like 4th of July was canceled almost. Which is fine. Like, everybody, it's a free country, so everybody can celebrate what they want. But my moves, which I'm going to get into, are pretty much focused around kind of the cultural war we're going through societal clashing you know just hard living it's like we aren't our, we aren't all getting along it's like can't we all get along it's like we're in a deep deep culture war civilization clash and we haven't even gotten halfway through biden so we're still digging deeper into that the question is going to be is our during his second two years, is he going to be digging us out of that? Or is he going to be helping us experience the Renaissance rebirth after the reset, the rejuvenation? So I don't know. But the, these next six months are gonna be outrageously uh, unpredictable and just choppy. And that's what's gonna to lead to the turmoil in the markets. We might even see the rug get pulled. I'm, I'm thinking sometime over the next couple of months, you know, you see, you're seeing some of these big companies heeding warnings like Facebook just announced they're going to have like the top, most turbulent six months and reallocation of resources and cash. And so there's definitely going to be a contraction and certain companies aren't going to make it through. But again, we live in a free country, free market. Some of these companies that fail deserve to fail. We'll see if we bail them out. But for the most part, it's like there's a giant bubble. Now we're about to go down a little bit and only the stronger companies will survive. Some companies aren't gonna make it through. I read an internal email at Meta that, you know, this is a, a crucial six months for the history of their company, you know, it's gonna determine if they make it through. And so, certain projects are going to be getting the back burner, certain projects are going to be invested in. This is like, this is where they, this is where they're kind of gonna sink or swim with some of the bigger uh, investments that they, they, they ridiculously and potentially fatally went so deep into metaverse that if this doesn't really work out, that company isn't going to make it through. So just heads up on that. There's a couple companies like that where they just went so deep in, <laughs> like non-profit, non-profitable like ventures that, you know, you make decisions and that's, you know, you seal your fate. So it could be a really scary time for some for a lot of people working at some of these bigger companies. But, you know, I'm, we're all just gonna put our head down and grind through, you know, we're just working through. Whatever happens in the stock market's out of our control. We're just gonna keep grinding, keep buying, which is why you wanna go down into the link and get those six free stocks. I'm not even kidding you. you. Just sign up and deposit one penny into your Weeble account. You'll see a link right at the top of the description there. Six free stocks. And if you haven't already done this, please pause the video, sign up, because I'm about to give you my plays for the next couple of weeks here. 
my picks, my moves. Make sure you have some cash ready to roll because this thing's gonna dip like a mofo, basically is what I'm saying. And I wanna make sure you have a few thousand dollars slowly, slowly by and averaging in as this thing tanks. It's at a historical dip rate right now. And it's about to be an even more historical dip. We might set like an all-time record of dip and it's because Joe Biden. Hold on, I'm just gonna pick up the pace a tiny bit here. And I'm not even that kind of guy, you know? It's like, I don't care about the politics, but everyone else does and no one cares about the economy. I only care about the economy. I don't really get into the politics game. So, like, and when I say, like, it's like Joe Biden's fault, I don't mean anything personal or, I don't think it's that bad. Like, he, he's doing the best he can. I don't think he's, like, intentionally doing it. It's just, it is what it is. We're, we just did a recession. <laughs> and we're looking at, like, potentially a huge drop off. Like, the rug's gonna get pulled any day now. So my moves, stand by and wait. So I finish up this hill here. It's getting a little busy up here. Stand by and wait, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you're gonna see some major, major drop offs because 4th of July turmoil, all that political shit. Stand by and wait, maybe on Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm gonna buy big, buying big some more on Apple, gonna be buying Apple, gonna be buying Google, Google's about to split 20 to one. If you've seen my other videos, you already know this, you've been buying in. So just keep buying through the red, buying the dip here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pick up the pace. Let's check into the gym. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a great weekend. Bye.